Hey everyone, so today is wash day for me and I finally took my braids out and I wore my hair with a braid out for about a week then I put a wig on because I still didn't have time to wash my hair. So here is what it's currently looking like. I am eight weeks post relaxer in this video. I'm going to be using the RS shampoo and conditioner to get my hair super clean and moisturized. So right here I'm just going to wash my hair, shampoo it really good first. I made sure to shampoo twice to get all of the buildup out of my hair. I was gifted the Key Paws hair towel wraps and I'm going to be showing you guys in this video how I use them. They're super soft and absorbent and they're made of 100% cotton. So if you have thick hair like me, um, this will definitely help because it absorbs more than microfiber. So your hair will dry a little quicker. So if you blow dry your hair like me, that's a good thing because your hair isn't still super wet when it's time to blow dry. So that's awesome. Just showing you guys up close how they look. This gray one is the chick design terry and the other two were the plain terry design so back to my wash day i'm done shampooing my hair and i'm going to put the towel on i'm going to secure it with the loop fastener i'm going to put it right here on the button that's a way to keep it nice and secure from falling off your head i usually keep this on my hair for about one to two minutes and then it's dry enough for me to proceed to whatever i'm going to do next so this is how my hair looks like this. Just been on my hair one or two minutes. Now it's time to deep condition my hair and I'm gonna be using the RRS replenishing conditioner. I absolutely love this. Make sure, making sure to coat my hair very thoroughly as well as my ends because I want my hair to be super, super hydrated and moisturized. I'm just showing you guys up close what my hair and my roots look like with the conditioner applied. I let that sit for about 20 to 30 minutes. I rinsed it out and I'm gonna put the towel on again. This time I'll be using the elastic band to secure it. Just to show you that you don't have to use the button if you don't want to, this is a quick way to make sure it's secure. Also a side note, these towels do come in six different colors, red, gray, pink, purple, white, and lilac. I'll make sure to leave the link down in the description box just in case you'd like to check them out. Now I'm gonna be moving on to the leave-in conditioner and here is my heat protectant. A little earlier I was just showing you what my new growth looks like wet. And so now I'm going to section my hair section by section and basically detangle it and blow dry it. So this is what the back is looking like right now. And now that I'm eight weeks post, I'm running into a bit more snags, but here's this section right here. And this, this right here, I just want to try to see the struggle I go through detangling my hair. <laughs> In real time, this took me about 20 to 30 seconds to just untangle that little one section right there so i'm just trying to relearn my hair and go through this transitioning phase and just work it out little by little just giving you a close-up of my new growth and so basically basically on this part what i'm doing taking it section by section detangling and blow drying with the comb attachment now on Right here, you see that I'm actually using my wide tooth comb because some parts were so tangled that I actually had to use a wide tooth comb instead of the comb attachment. This is what my hair looks like after I'm done. I'm gonna be using a hot comb now. I'm gonna hit those roots because I'm going to flat arm my hair today. Super excited. So my little method, um, gonna part it in small sections and Make sure it's detangled with the brush and then gonna hit it with the hot comb. So I'm basically gonna do that for each and every section until I get done. I had not hot combed my hair in like maybe a couple years, a year or two. So this was kind of new to me again. So I was just trying to be super careful. Um, I tried my best not to go over it more than like three times, but on some little parts I had to just because I, it may have been short or I couldn't reach it really good. But for the most part, I was able to hit it like one good time and be done with it. So I basically did this over my entire head because I wanted my roots super straight so that I could have a really nice flat iron once I do decide, um, once I do get to that part at the end. So I'm just showing you a little bit of the texture, what it looks like at the roots once it's blow dried. And so this is my hair. It's, it's, I have a lot of split ends, a lot of damage. I'm just ready for it to go. So here is the Crea Clip. This is not the brand Crea Clip. This is like an off brand, but um, it's hard to find unless you like go to eBay or something like that. And I know a lot of people shop on Amazon. So I'm just gonna leave the Crea Clip clip for y'all. 
So I basically got the Korea clip where I wanted it and I'm just gonna use my goodie scissors that I always use for cutting my hair and I'm just gonna cut straight across. Like this part right here, I was kinda, I kept stopping because I didn't I didn't want the Korea clip to move, which is secure because it has a clamp on the end, but I just wanted to be extra, extra careful and I didn't want any chance of it moving. So I'm also right-handed and it was kind of awkward for me to be cutting behind my head like that, but I did want it to do it myself this time. One time I got my son to cut it and um, this time I actually cut it myself. So I just went for it. Basically just get it lined up to where you want and cut straight across. So it's it's kind of foolproof to be honest, especially if you're cutting yourself, your hair yourself at home is it's really easy, it's foolproof. Just line it up to where exactly you want it. I knew I wanted my shoulder length. So now we're gonna see what it's look like. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna show you the hair, all the hair on the floor right here. So this is all of the hair that I cut off. And um it was really thin towards the end, but it was a, about an average of four inches, I would say. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the Korea clip off and show you guys what it looks like. But keep in mind, I am not done with the haircut yet. This is just the first start. This is like the foundation for me. So I'm super, as you can tell, I was super happy and excited. And I was just, I was happy that it worked, <laughs> that I was able to cut my hair myself without anybody's help. And do you not see how much more flowy and bouncy? Like, just cutting the cutting the split ends and the dead ends off. Like, I mean, you don't, you definitely don't have to cut this much as I cut, but I personally wanted to go back to shoulder length. So I was just over the moon. Here is also a cutting guy. I got this on sale at Sally's, but it also goes with the Korea clip. It looks like this. So I'm gonna use the little short part for the front of my hair to get the little stringy pieces off. And I'm also gonna use this piece to go throughout my hair to give my hair a few little light layers. So this part right here, that was a little straggly, I just wanna get that off so I can have a clean cut in the front as well. Basically put the Korea clip on, get it lined up and just cut it off. It seriously is that easy. You just have, just be patient with yourself and have confidence with yourself. Cause if I can do this, I feel like anybody can do this. Like seriously. So I want it a little more off right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and clip that on my own. Just cause I saw a little area right here that was a little, a little longer than what I wanted it to be. So I basically just clipped that off a little more. So we're moving on to the other side over here. I'm gonna put the Korea clip on and get it lined up. I didn't wanna fast forward past this part because I wanted you guys to actually see it. I didn't want it to go fast. I want you to see in real time how I did this. So it's just as easy as that. And like, it just looks healthier already. It looks more alive, more bouncy, more flowy. Like I'm definitely loving it already. But like I said, I'm not done yet. I'm just setting the foundation for the rest of what I wanna do. So I feel like I got it pretty straight, as, as straight as you know I was gonna get it across the front as well as across the back. So I think I did a pretty good job and this only took like, the front and the back only took like less than five minutes. So now what I'm about to do, I'm just gonna go section by section and I'm just gonna add super light layers. So I'm gonna put the hair to like a 90 degree angle and then cut it. I'm sorry I had to turn it this way. I'm right handed and it was just weird holding it the other way. So I had to like flip it around so that I could see it personally. But I'm basically just taking section by section so that I can make sure I get every, every section of my hair, pulling it out to the end and I'm just cutting the ends off. I'm basically just making sure it's at a 90 degree angle so that when I go to um, flat iron my hair at the end, it just will look really, really nice and full. I'm gonna do this part up here in the front. Make sure it goes out to 90 degree angle and just snip those ends right on off. So I'm basically gonna do that throughout my entire hair. Can you see the little shape right there already? It's like a little, 
a little V type of shape going in. And that's exactly what I want. So I'm going to repeat this part on the left side of my hair. And I'm going to just let you guys watch this right here. And I'll chime back in in just a minute. All right, so I'm done with the two front sections. So getting ready to move to the back section. This was a little bit more challenging, especially with me trying to do it myself and record it for you guys to see. So I do have a mirror propped up over there. So you will see my reflection. But basically what I did in the back, I split it in half. Instead of doing it like all vertical, I, I'm gonna take like, um, you know, where I just parted my hair at. So I'm gonna do the bottom half right now and I'll do the top half later. But basically, just like I did in the front, taking it section by section, pulling it to a 90 degree angle and just snipping the ends off. Not anything major, not a whole lot of hair loss, but just continuing that same system that I had in the front. When I tell y'all that I literally been thinking about cutting my hair for months and months and months and then I go back and doubt myself and then I get up the courage and be like, yeah, I'm ready. And then I go and doubt myself. And then I was just like, you know what? It's time. It's time for the dead hair to go. And plus, I don't know. I just love my hair shoulder length. Like to me, it just fits my face. It fits it just fits me right now in my lifestyle. It's easier, it's quicker to do. And also I am transitioning. So this will kind of give me a head start towards working towards that goal. And it'll help just get a lot of dead hair off that I don't have to deal with. And I'm pretty sure my next wash day will be super easier to detangle. But And I'll make sure to, um, I'll definitely make sure to record that and let you guys know is it easier with short hair or is it the same here are the results of cutting my hair and trimming my hair i'm not done yet because i got me some babyless pro flat irons thank you cj shout out to my fiance for buying these for me and i'm going to be using 380 for the temperature for my hair so just showing you how thick and fluffy it is like Oh my gosh, I'm like so, I got like a, a whole love affair with my hair right now. Like y'all just don't understand. But anyway, section my hair off into four sections. And then within each section, I'm going to do a part and I'm going to brush it out. And I'm going to use the flat iron. Now let me tell you about this flat iron. Because I'm going to have to do this in a whole separate review video. Because I have not reviewed this yet. This is actually the first time I've used this flat iron in this video right here. So I'm seeing the results for the first time just like you guys are. Like this is literally my first time using this. And this flat iron is awesome. Like it's, it's, like, it's like butter. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy. But it's like butter going through your hair. Because it does not pull at your hair it doesn't tug and like as you can see my hair looks very smooth and it also leaves a little sheen to your hair so just make sure you don't touch the silver part of it because the back part also gets really hot I know a lot of people get scared of the, the titanium plates but as you can see like I'm getting really good results just don't turn it up to a super super high temperature just turn it up to as high as you need it and look at these results so far like, do y'all see that? Like, yes, I'm absolutely loving this flat iron. Like, it's smooth. Like, I'm I'm literally going over it one time. And that's pretty much all I need. So, I'm, as you can tell, I got a little smile on my face. Because I'm like, dang, these flat irons do good. Like, I'm like, ooh, wee. <laughs> these flat irons, like, yes. I'm so, so happy I got these. Um... But anywho, so I'm just going to continue to go row by row and flat iron my hair and I'll chime back in in just a minute.
so these are my results you guys this is the finished product i feel like it turned out absolutely fabulous in my opinion i love it it's um shoulder length how i wanted it it looks healthier here's a before picture you do you see this do you see this okay so which one do you like better let me know down in the comment section the before or the after picture so let me shake it in slow motion because that's what all the other YouTubers do. You know what I'm saying? I never do slow-mo, so I had to do slow-mo on you just to show you. So make sure you guys leave a thumbs up if this video was helpful, if you liked it, if you liked the new haircut, let me know. Um, also, make sure to check out the Keep Paul's hair towels. I'll have the link down below. If you guys have any questions or comments, just let me know. Thanks for watching.